Hey everyone, I do hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video here on the It's Cable channel. We've got a pretty important one today. It's one that I've been trying to make for a long time, but I've kind of like been looking for the right time to do it. I think right now is in the run up to Christmas because it is my SBC guide. It's how to do basically in the SBC comes out on FIFA. So this isn't specifically for one SBC. This is how to get the best out of every single SBC in the game. So I thought now would be a good time because new people are going to get the game for Christmas. Of course, they need a bit of guidance. Maybe if you haven't played FIFA before about what to do. And of course, there's all the footless SBCs for the rest of us. And I think I could give some guidance with which one of those are going to be good value which ones are not really going to be that good. So, um, yeah, we're going to go through quite a lot. We're going to go through which SPCs are the best to do, like I said, the best techniques for getting the best value to do SPCs, and also how to use tools like Footbin, like the concept players and certain stuff on the market to find yourself the best solutions for these SPCs. So, we're going to get straight into it right now, and hopefully you guys can learn something new today. So we are going to be starting off with which SPCs are the best to do, like I said. And of course, to get started on SPCs, you do need to do the first group. It's called Let's Get Started. It'll be the only one that's unlocked. Um, you can see it there. I've already done it, of course. But this is a fresh account apart from that. This isn't my main account, so it has all the other ones unlocked that you need to do. So uh, the certain ones I'd recommend, I'd say get the rest of the foundation ones done. So start off with like the Let's Move Forward and League and Nation Basics and stuff like that. That'll help you learn about SBCs at the same time um, as this video would. And then move on to the harder ones. These are the best value ones in the game. Definitely get the League and Nation Hybrid, the Hybrid Leagues, Hybrid Nations done. Because you can see they give you packs as high as about 55k. And the biggest ones like 12k to do. I've got videos for all of those on my channel so go and check those out. With some of these you may need loyalty. Um, loyalty is a big topic in SBCs. I'll give that its own video that will be linked hopefully up there right now. Now. Um, yeah, so these are the best ones to do from foundation. Now, of course, there will be uh, probably more foundation SPCs later in the year. There's likely to be some St. Patrick's Day ones in about, I think that's February. They're normally quite good value to do. There's another set that sometimes comes out called National Pride. If that one does come out, it's normally you need six English players from the um, Premier League and six from the Championship, and then the same for Italy, Spain, Germany. Those ones are not worth doing. I say definitely leave those ones they are not worth doing you can see in the background right now there's a kit sbc definitely avoid kit sbcs too they're ones to avoid challenge what challenge puzzle sbcs during events normally quite good so like foot freeze challenges i'd say go for them you wait for marquee matchups um for that one i'd just recommend if they're on my channel do them if they're not then don't do them because i use that as a signal to tell you if those ones are worth it or not sometimes they are sometimes they're not with player sbcs you can see like james madison we've got coming up here only really do player SBCs if they're going to fit in your team or you can use them as a super sub. Don't just get players who you're never going to use because then you are just wasting players and getting rid of ones that perhaps you should need. So I'm going to talk about a few techniques now about SBCs and basically how to do them as cheap as possible. So you can see I'm doing the marquee matchups here. I do do those every week on the channel. I upload some cheapest methods for you guys to do. But say there's a week where I don't, upload them there probably wouldn't be or this is just another SBC that I haven't done these are kind of the ways you can try and do them as cheap as possible so you can see I'm doing bus on Real Madrid here this was one that I did a few weeks ago and I think this is really a perfect example of how you can basically use some techniques playing players out of position and stuff like that and it'll make it cheaper so you see these kind of SBCs you will have a to I call them topic players basically they're ones that are related to like the theme of the SBC that you need. So you can see here you need a Barcelona or Real Madrid player, which means the prices of those players are going to rise. And also, some people don't think about this, the prices of players they directly link to are going to rise. So say someone like uh, Asensio rises or whatever, then the players that he links to are also going to rise. Uh, like strong links, people like Loren from the Spanish League, or say someone like Munir would rise because Asensio has risen. Um, yeah, strong links normally rise. You see here, I've got Lunin. Um, see, he was the cheapest one I could find on the market. I say have a look around on the market, see what everything's going for. Don't just search around Madrid and buy the first thing that comes up. Definitely check both teams as well. See, I ended up playing him right forwards, and I know that's really out of position, but it actually helps for the SBC because it means that I don't have to buy defenders from Spanish League and whatever. Because defenders, centre backs especially, are the most expensive um, players when doing SBCs, they tend to be, especially from the top five leagues. Spanish centre backs, Italian centre backs especially, the cheapest ones sometimes end up like 600 coins. So. Yeah, see what I do here, I end up playing him out of position so then I can play some midfielders that are Spanish and cheaper and basically it saves me a few coins. Normally I'd recommend if you want to play a player out of position, put them at right wing, right back or goalkeeper because it gives them the least links. Um, so you need to, you need less players that 
to get chemistry from them basically and it gets you out of that topic league as I call them quicker so then you've got more players that can be better value for your SBC and you can see here I link into quite a random league not on the more known ones it ends up being the Ukrainian league and I will go through all the leagues in a minute I'll tell you which leagues are the best value for money and stuff like that but what I'm also going to talk about here while I'm talking about playing players out of position because it's so helpful is the positions that you can do it for so you can get players on no chemistry sometimes if they're really out of position but sometimes you can get players on half chemistry anyway and remember when it's like a 70 chemistry SBC you don't always need maximum chemistry on every single player so say I've got a right mid I can play them left mid on six chemistry I can play them at right back on six I can play them at, um, left back on six chemistry as well same goes with the right hand side um, and then right backs can get chemistry at right mid uh, not right mid they can get them yeah they can they can get chemistry at right mid and then centre or midfield is going to get chemistry at right or left mid cams can get chemistry at centre forward CDMs getting chemistry at centre back is a really good one because as I said um centre backs are quite often expensive to do but moving on here i've got another technique of um getting the most out of sbcs and this is how to get rid of your bronze players and end up getting some better stuff as you can see i'm doing bronze upgrades here and then i will move on and do silver upgrades with those bronze players and then onto the gold upgrade so from these bronze players i've got here that i'm never going to use for anything I can end up getting some pretty good stuff. So what I would recommend when doing any SBC, even the bronze, silver, gold upgrades, check the prices of stuff before you end up getting rid of it. I've already checked the prices, which is why I'm not doing it here. Um, especially rare silvers and rare bronzes, they can tend to be about two or three K and you might not even realize and you might just be getting rid of them. So yeah, sell them and you might be able to get some profit. You can see here, I do play a few players out of position like I was talking about, because I didn't have any bronze center packs, so I do end up playing. Um, some centre-backs at CDM you can just see that coming up here so another thing that I do think is worth talking about is the time that you do the SBC so this is especially like prevalent for live SBCs so when you're talking about the marking matchups which come up of course every week uh, UCL challenge SBCs and also puzzle SBCs for stuff like footmas if you do them right when they come out about six o'clock to about eight o'clock they are going to be um, sometimes players are double the price they would be if you wait about two or three days and then do them later, especially marquee matchups. The topic player prices fall massively, so just be aware of that. That is quite helpful. And also with topic players, while I'm talking about those, you can still see the gold upgrade stuff going on in the background. Um, make sure if you've got extra of the player, so say you need a UCL player from Atletico Madrid and you've got three of them, use one and then sell the other two because those ones are going to be up in price. So I would recommend doing that. Make sure you're selling players um, that are expensive if you have too many. So just be aware of what kind of SPCs are at, what kind of players are in demand if you can. So I'd recommend maybe going on Footbin, which I'll talk more about later, and just seeing what SPCs are out and then you can check player prices to see if they've gone up. So yeah, that is my main tips for how to do SBCs. I will have one more that I am going to talk about now. So that is going to be bidding on players. And this is a very, very important one. If you want to cut costs like me, um, bidding on players can be really, really, really helpful. Because you can see here, um, checking the price of Ascensio, of course, as I say, check the price of everything. And he's going for about 1.3, 1.4K. But then if I look on the bids, which I'll be going through now, you can see it's a lot lower there, we're going for about 900, 950, and that is really, really helpful. You can see there, I just bid on them. If you don't get them first time, try a few times. If it doesn't work the first few times, maybe try a different player, but try it a few times, try bidding on them, and then see if you can get them. Don't bid on all of them at the same time, because you might end up with too many. But bid on one, see if you can get it. If it doesn't work, try bidding again. If it doesn't work, try a different player. Just see which ones um, are easy to bid on. Because you can see there, I saved myself 300, 400 coins just by waiting 30 seconds. So have a bit of patience and you can really save yourself some coins, which is good. So moving on, I am going to talk about all the different leagues and if they're worth doing. So um, basically, try and avoid the top five leagues if you can when doing these SBCs. With some of the ones where they're like high rated, that's not going to be easy. But um, you can see me stopping on certain leagues that are helpful here. Um, for gold ones, especially go to the CSL, go to the Eredivisie. Uh, sometimes the Mexican league can be helpful too. The Turkish league is good for gold and silvers. So they're kind of like the top ones if you want to get cheap golds. Ukrainian league can also be helpful. You can see me going through a few more here. You can see I'll stop on the Eredivisie. For silvers, you'll see me go to it in a minute. Anyone that watches my species all the time will know Romania is really helpful. You see me going on it here. If you need yourself some rare or common silvers for SBC, so it's one that's about 65 rated, 
definitely heads the Romanian league. And yeah, they can be really, really helpful. Sometimes if an SBC requires a ray, you can even use one of those silver ones in a gold one if it's about 76, 77 rate. So try that out as well. Um, yeah, and Liga Nos as well for gold. That's a really good one. You can see that on your screen right now. They have a lot of high rate players as well. You can bid on ones like, I know, Weigl, Paulinho, Horta. They've got loads of runs that are about 78, 79 and you can easily get for 350. Uh, not really any competition on it too. The MLS can be decent. It's got a few good players like Martinez, but they can be a bit harder to link. So ones like Dos Santos Chicharito is a very good perfect link you can get from there for SBCs. So yeah, those are kind of the main leagues. Austrian Bundesliga is another one for silvers, but those are the leagues I'd say you go for. EFL Championship as well for goals. So those are the main leagues that you should be paying attention to, trying to get players for basically. If you can, if it's a high rated one, use top five leagues. But if there's one where you can try and get players from leagues outside those top five, it will be cheaper for you. So just before we get on to the last part of this video, I do have a product I'd like to tell you about today. The lovely people over at BenQ have sent me their Screen Bar Plus e-reading lamp to review today. So I thought I'd give it a go because I'm only going to review stuff that I think is actually useful for me or you guys would like on this channel. So I thought this product would be quite a good fit because it would be something I'd end up using. A lot of you guys, if you have a game or you... Uh, spend a lot of time at computers for work, especially in the current situation, working from home or whatever, it could be pretty useful, because the whole point of it is that it reduces your eye strain, it makes it a lot easier to sit there for long periods of time, and I can say when I was playing FIFA with it a few days ago, it actually did help me focus a bit when it was quite dark, my room isn't the lightest, you can see here, and it really, really made my screen a lot easier to read, it didn't take up much room either, I was really happy with that, it was easy to set up, thank you, haven't told me to only be positive about this, I'm not being paid for it, they said I could say whatever I want, good or bad, but I honestly don't really have anything bad to say about this you've got a lot of control over what you do with it as well you can change the light temperature you can change the brightness or you could have it on also depending on if you'd prefer to have it to your own specifications or what you think their light sensor would think is best but yeah you can see there um, in the dark it it does really really light the screen up it makes it a lot easier to see um, so I am really really happy with it and you see here as well Mau Mau did enjoy it sitting in the box for it the only thing that I'd maybe say is a bit of a drawback would be the price but overall I do think it's a pretty good product I will link BenQ in the description also link their Amazon as well so thank you to the guys over there for sending me this product I'm really happy with it and back onto the SBCs so moving on we are now going to talk about Footbin and I mentioned this slightly earlier it's a website slash app that you can use it's got an online website but it's got a really helpful app on your phone as well and basically it helps you track the prices of players it can help you with SBC stuff like that so it is really 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 helpful it's got kind of um it's kind of good for trading as well I might do a trading video soon let me know if you guys want that but it is just such a good app I'm not being paid by them or anything to say this I just think it is worth promoting because it really can help you out one of their best things is cheapest buy rating for SBCs they also have a grid that tells you how many of each rating you need players to get like the overall rate but you can see here it shows me the cheapest 81s 82s 83s uh, and there's lot of, lots of filters you can use there's more filters in foot than there is in foot you can search position nation all of that like you can in foot but then there's also extra ones uh, if you're building teams as well you can search like weak foot pace stuff like that so it is a really really helpful app for getting good value players and i would recommend you use it make sure that um after you look at the price on foot bin you do check it on actual foot instead of just buying players sometimes it can fluctuate a little bit it's a lot more accurate for gold than it is for silvers and bronzes, so uh, if you're looking at silvers and bronzes, the prices may be a lot higher. But you can also check SBC solutions here, and I wouldn't recommend copying the solutions because people do price fix them very quickly on Footbin. If you see one on Footbin, it is most likely gone up because a lot of people are using it or people have bought all the players to take advantage of people that want to use Footbin Studio SBC. So don't take the SBC exactly from Footbin, but take something that I call chemistry structure from Footbin. So you can see this one, the Ansaldi SBC. Um, that's out right now for Footmas. I can maybe, maybe I could use, I wouldn't use Sancho and Berkey strong link, but I can see I need a goalkeeper there to strong link to a right mid and they can be from different nations. So I might end up using, I, I, I don't even know, I might end up using something like Sirigu and Marisic, I don't know, just something like that. I know that's not a strong link exactly, or maybe someone like Berardi and Sirigu or whatever. Just basically just end up with you get the same same amount of links and stuff like that. So you can kind of copy that, but I wouldn't recommend copying the whole squad because they do get price fixed. But yeah, that is Footbin. 
Um, I'll leave a link to them in the description so you can go and check them out along with the product I was talking about earlier. So that is going to be the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very, very much for watching this. Let me know if it's helped you out. Also, let me know if you want any other tutorials. I'm thinking of maybe doing some trading stuff because a lot of people have asked for that and some budget teams after Black Friday because a lot of people would like to see that as well. My last one of them went down pretty well. So thank you for watching, everyone. Actually, if you are new, to FIFA and you want a 10k team that is another video you can check out so go and check that out if you want yourself a really cheap team to get started in foot but that's going to be all for me from this video hopefully you do enjoy thank you very much for the support recently and hopefully I will see you soon goodbye